Well, that was a quick death. I survived. Let's take everything. I want a silence. Henry! Get up now. There's work to be done. God damn it, Ma. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? No. Is Father angry with me for sleeping late? He's not happy. Yesterday you promised him you'd help finish that sword for Sir Ratzig. He's not as young as he was. And you know how his joints pain him. He's too proud to complain. But he needs your help, Henry. At least you're up. That's a start. Thank you. Anyway, we've a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a God hammer, damn and it, nails that guy. I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. I My want the money. Sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer, and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. I knew you'd be trouble. Father says if you don't pay up, he'll come here himself and hammer those nails into your hairy ass. You son of a whore! How dare you speak to me like that? Didn't your thieving father teach you any manners? No? Well, I'll teach you then. You'll need it. Mm. Mm. You had it coming, you pup. And your old man can fuck off too. I will be coming back. Don't you worry. Finish. Get out here, you old goat. I've something to show you. He's not really faced by it. Like he's really good at ignoring us. What the fuck are you here for? You want me to take a whip to you or call a catchpole? Just try it, you old drunk. Ha! Wait, why is it going for me? Oh. Uh. Enough! Enough! I give up. Take what you want. Kunish didn't want to pay, so I got no money for those things you sold him. But I took them in lieu of the debt. Took, meaning he gave them to you, or took, meaning stole. If he didn't pay, then they're still ours. How can you steal something that's yours? Fair point. Give it to me, then, and here's some money for the rest. <sighs> Look at that lad. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Damn if I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. We did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Well, those days are gone, sir. Hmm. You haven't lost your skills, though. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a commoner? Let try it. Yeah, let me try it. I'm not afraid of that stick. Watch and learn. <laughs> you still have a lot to learn.
uh, yeah, you you better start going. You know, I don't know how long you're gonna wait. Find the horse. What the fuck? Tell Merch. Tell them what's coming. I mean, you could have waited like two seconds. Yeah, you better don't follow me. I'm not scared of you. Yeah, look at that. Ah, ah. No. Out. Okay, I'm still alive. Block. Uh, yeah, I'm still fine. Oh. Third times the sound. Fuck. Huh? Block. Block. Ah, again. Haha! I have the high ground now. What? The high ground didn't really help. I got you. Don't worry. I'm here to save you as a noble hero. Okay. No run away. <laughs> Someone give him a drink. Who are you? And where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground. Slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning. And, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tartars? You stand. There you go. Good as new. <laughs> ah, milady. You are fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. When you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer bailey. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. Young Henry here is overwhelmed by your generosity. Oh, yes, yes. Thank you, my lady. Sir so, Robard, I need to get to Scalitz. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. I, I can defend myself. I should be able to just some bomb here. Yeah. Hmm? Um, I think my house. I think my horse is broken. Can someone help me? Hello. Anyone? Aha! You didn't see what I wanted to do there. Got you! What do you mean, got you? Let me go for Christ's sake! You're going nowhere. Are you mad? We're only trying to stop your shit and come along. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Stop me. Come on, you shit. Yeah. No, you can't get me. Uh -huh. ah. What do you mean? Yeah. 
They are only trying to keep me alive. Damn it all. some help we're here to rob you of everything you've got especially that fine blade that's of no use to a peasant like you anyway banish the thought it is my father exactly so amazing as you like could have just cost you a few teeth Wait, where's my sword? No! I almost won that one. Hey, go fuckers! <laughs> the games are over. I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Deep fucking shit. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. What are you doing? You have no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Taunberg. I'm sorry, sir, but... I had to bury my parents. They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. I must get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. The woman had to save his fat from the fire and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage, but you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. I just want to let you know I am the best Please, dice player in these service. lands. Give me the chance so to learn these things. It would be an option to pursue. Fled from okay. the enemy, disobeyed your orders, duped Sir Divish, lost your sword, put Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. Good day to you. I'm here for training. Exactly. There's nothing I can do for you here. Come on, I'm at the combat arena. Very well, sir. We are right next to the combat area. Like, what the fuck is this? Now we're at the combat area. I'm here for training. Yes, you're that boy Sir Radzik said. Alright! Draw the bow, aim, and release. Try to get a feel for the rhythm. Please tell me what Sir Radzik Nothing will come of him anyway, and at the first sign of trouble, he'll run away like any other cowardly peasant. What did you say? Calm down, boy. Keep in mind who you're talking to. A braggart who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Now you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith's boy feels he can prove himself, then let him try. Do you think you can beat me? Well, any time. <laughs> Wasn't even close. Well, I didn't expect that. Uh, 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 
Come with me, Henry. We'll patrol the town and then check on the taverns to make sure they lock up in the evening. I'm ready. Aye, aye. What the hell is going on here now? Go and check it out, go Henry. Go back to your people. I don't want you here. Is that Benier? What are you two screeching about? Stop making such a ruckus. About time you turned up. This filthy beggar thinks. My name is Jane. No one cares what your name is. This filthy beggar thinks she can come and stink in front of my shop. I want you to get rid of her. Can't you show her some Christian charity, Armourer? What? Have you any idea how much I've given away in alms, even to this witch only yesterday? Is that true? <sighs> Might be. Might not. Did you get any alms or not? Yes. I think you ought to give Jane something. I gave her a groggion yesterday, and today she's ruining my business. Have you taken leave of your senses? Why should I give her anything? Well, you wouldn't want to look like a heartless bastard in front of the whole town, would you? No, certainly not. There you go, then. Why would you back here? Like, see, no person is coming along here. There, satisfied? Okay, I'm going to have to you up. Side lady Lucky's on. I don't think I'm beating you up. Oh, if I didn't I get a four, that would have been amazing. If I didn't I get a four, that would have been amazing. Your turn. Why didn't I get a four? I never get the four. Uh, of course, he gets a four, but when I need it, I never get a four. Rick? This will be the one. And now he gets four fives. And a four. A Absolutely. Win at last. Good. And the canon of St. Wenceslas in Olomouc was so drunk, <laughs> he dragged the pig to the market square, saddled it up, <laughs> and rode it out of the town gate. <laughs> <laughs> So Hans, forgive my intrusion, but I need. Oh, but what? You uh, want to join us? Want to <laughs> buy us around? <laughs> I'm afraid we don't drink with peasants. You're not in your village now, boy. No, sir. <laughs> Curfew's been rung. The alehouse is closing. The bailiff can kiss my ass. I trust you haven't forgotten who's the rightful lord of Ratte. No, it's Sir Hannes. Oh, is he here? What is he it's hiding under the table, maybe? <laughs> no! Then what he wants isn't worth a fart in a bathhouse. And besides, he's only in charge till I grow up. <laughs> Which clearly hasn't happened yet. Enough! You can't talk to me like that. I'm a nobleman. That'll show <laughs> up! <laughs> I won! But, sir, isn't there a horse I could borrow? Oh, certainly! Why don't you just have mine? Or, then again, you can just run alongside as befits a peasant. God be with you. You're not a nice person. I can definitely see why you have a horse and I don't. Like, your riding skills are... What are you waiting for? Such a renowned hunter needs... You wouldn't dare mock your betters now, would you? 
Heaven forbid, your lordship. If that's the way you want it, peasant. We'll meet back here at noon. Whoever has the most hairs win. You'll soon be laughing on the other side of your grubby face. And now turn your back for a while. I know a few tried and tested spots in these woods, uh, yeah, and I you... don't want you stealing them. Well, of course I wouldn't. I also have my tried and tested places to hunt. Anyway, we are arriving at the same time. And now come along. Let's go and hunt some real game. You want to take him down with an arrow? Certainly. Why? Why wouldn't I? You won't kill him like that. Boar is hunted with spears. Is that so? So now all of a sudden you're a master huntsman, are you? Watch and learn. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Damn, I'm good. <laughs> Quiet. So. Next time you try to tell me I can't kill a boar with an arrow, you can... <laughs> After him! Fetch! <laughs> Mount up, Henry! Chase down that swine! Okay. Sneaky does it. We don't want to let them know that we are here. I have to get me some beauty, you know. Ah, shut up. Wait, there's nothing in here? The fuck is this? Henry! Henry! I'm right, I'm right here. I'll have a bronze bust made of you, my friend. But where have you been till now? Oh, you know, I was picking berries, had a drink of wine, took a little nap. <laughs> you lunatic! How is it possible, Ratsy? Those bastards make so bold no more than a mile from the castle. We'll have to send out more patrols. That won't do us any good, Hanush. Even if we had ten times the men, we couldn't beat through every thicket in the fiefdom. I'm sorry to interrupt, sir, but I've urgent tidings. A stable boy came from Neuhof. He says brigands raided the stud farm this morning. There's many dead or maimed. The stable boy just kept babbling about some huge fellow in black armor who led the attack. Take as many men as you need, and don't stop until you've found those bastards. And bring me their heads! Yes, sir. My men at your disposal too, Hanush. Thank you, friend. Sir, let me ride with them. Well, he's full of piss and vinegar, isn't he? Their leader. He must be the one who attacked me at Scarlet's. There can't be two men in the whole kingdom who look like that. No doubt you could use another swordsman, Captain. Uh, as you command, my lord. How soon can you leave, Bernard? Soon as the men are ready, sir. Good. Wait in the courtyard for Henry. And uh, give him a horse. His own mount? His reward for saving Sir Hans. He'll need it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, go! I want these culprits in the hands of the executioner as soon as possible. I won't let you down, sir. 
know much about what happened, just what that Neuhoff stable boy told us. Get your horses piled up and let's ride out on the double. Maybe we'll catch up with that rabble. I'm ready, Cut. Good. And follow me. I don't know what Sir Radzik sees in you, and I don't care. If you're to ride with my men, I expect you to. Yes, sir. Now, mount up and ride behind us. <laughs> Yeah, uh, mounting up might be a problem. It is indeed a problem. Alright, man. Sell up! No I'm coming. Just give me one second. I'll be there shortly. Any day now. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe, drop a comment, whatever. And see you in the next video. Bye.